Hi, this is James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, here to talk about K Sera Sera 2. I did a video called K Sera Sera 1. Now, the reason for that is, you know, some more questions about Sera and its um, vibrancy and its, um, you know, what do you pair with this? What do you do with this? Um, and I think it's very interesting because I think a whole, almost nearly a generation of um, a drinking in terms of Syrah being a focus or Shiraz being a focus, to say in the example of an Australian uh, wine, I think that a lot of people have thought less about it in this period because of other wines that entered into the imagination. That is the Malbec, the Cabernet Sauvignon is always one of these uh, wines that, you know, finds a way in and, and really um, w when it's thought about, it's thought of as being the, the a first amongst equals, so to speak. And um, in, in that regard, maybe that's where things go astray. That is that Syrah is thought of as being the king of wines. And um, I think maybe that's because of its provenance coming from Bordeaux. So the Bordeaux has been very influential in saying what is what you should taste or what is superior, what is not as superior. And uh, I think, unfortunately, when you think of, um, and, and there's nothing wrong with the Malbec. It's a beautiful grape. I love it. And I think, um, you know, Argentina came to the marketplace with this varietal. And uh, about a decade ago, no one really ever heard of wines from Argentina. And then you have this really great cavalcade and, and interest in Argentinian Malbec, very inexpensive and well-crafted. So a lot of people are entering in, and uh, along the way, they're forgetting things about uh, Merlot. Uh, so it was a Bordeaux varietal that actually did get uh, forgotten about for a bit of time. Then you have Syrah, um, a Rhone varietal that just ends up um, having some hard times and uh, I'm not saying it's declining so much that people are necessarily not thinking of producing and I think probably there have been a few thoughts of, on a few producers uh, specific producers minds but I think overall it's a wonderful food wine it's a wine first of all I enjoy it just on its own I mean for me it's just something to delve into it's that um, mysterium that uh, point of um, getting into that zone of enjoyment, getting to the zone of like, it's been a hard week, but I'm going to enjoy my Sarah Shiraz today, this evening, because I think it's just that eloquent and it speaks to me in a different way. It's a beautiful wine. I mean, it, it's a superb wine from the Rhone Valley, and, and a lot of people treasure these wines. The Chateau de Pop. Um, you have wines, uh, Shiraz, Syrah, that are grown in Morocco, Algeria, U.S., uh, Chile, Argentina, New Zealand, um, Australia, South Africa, so there's a lot of different growing regions that are growing this wine grape. Um, and I did mention that it's, you know, a lot, a lot of wine writers have tried to, to think that maybe Syrah doesn't have a definitive flavor profile. And I think that's probably not necessarily what I would say. What I am saying is I think that Syrah is one of these definitive grapes that really has an ability to pick up the terroir, the region it's grown in, and add its own calculus, if you will, to the wine's equation. So it's something that I enjoy, again, on its own, but definitely enjoy with food, with salmon, burgers, pizza, just to enjoy um, what this adds to that meal and experience. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesandwineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.